this is going to be the front rack reverse lunge and this is going to be a great lower body exercise but also it's going to help work your core and your upper back so i'm using kettlebells here you can use um, dumbbells as well the only difference with dumbbells is you'll be holding them as a dumbbell right and you'll have your elbows up like this All right, let me move this you'll have your elbows up like this with a front rack um, dumbbell uh, uh, movement but in this I'm using kettlebells so either or is fine um, you'll notice here I'm kind of holding the kettlebells at the top and then I swing them up all right so I'm using momentum to swing them up and then I'm letting them rest on my biceps a little bit in my forearms but notice how I'm keeping my elbows up the whole time and you can see my upper back start to activate because so you're really going to feel this in your upper back and as well, I'm going to be keeping my core braced and engaged so that my lower back doesn't over arch, right? It, it's, I'm keeping a nice neutral and straight spine. And then from here, you're going to take a step back and boom. So you're going to reverse lunge back. All right. And the key here is, uh, again, take a step back and out. You don't want to think of taking a step straight back, take a step back and out. And then you're going to think of driving forward when you come up. So don't think of driving straight up. Almost think of driving forward, like driving through that front heel as you uh, come back up. All right. And that's basically it. Don't think, don't smash your knee on the ground. Um, if you want, you can uh, stop like a few inches above the ground. Um, or you could place like a little mat, yoga mat underneath so that when your knee touches the ground, it doesn't hurt because this turf doesn't feel too good. Uh, but that's basically it. You're going to be doing a reverse lunge uh, while keeping your elbows up. Remember, we don't want those elbows to drop down. Um, a little bit of weight goes a long way here, and you're really going to feel this in your upper back, a little bit in your core, and, of course, your legs as well.